Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you guys how to write the equation of the ellipse um, given the center, the vertex, and the covertex. And when trying to write an equation and we're provided some information, um, it's very helpful to try to plot that information to be able to see how it's going to relate and how we can use that. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to set an x and y axis. And I know that c is going to be the center, which is at 0, 0. My vertex is at 0, 12. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And my covertex is at 11, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. OK, now remember, when we're looking into graphing one of these, um, the distance from the center, uh, it's a vertex and covertex. Remember, the distance from the center to, the, um, to one of the vertices is a where the distance from the center to the covertice is b. Now remember, the center splits the difference between your two vertices. So if I'm going up 12 to get to one vertice, I can go down 12 to get to my other vertice. And if I go to the right 11 to get to my covertice, I can go to the left to find the other covertice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So the reason why this is important is, one, first of all, we know A, the distance from the center to the vertice, that's 12. And the distance from the center to the covertice, 11. So we know what A and B are. But, so we can start writing our equation. Because, um, but before I get to do that, the main important thing we need to understand is, remember that the vertice, the foci, and the center, and the foci we don't know yet, they all lie on the major axis. And before we write the equation, we have to determine, is the major axis vertical or horizontal? Well, since my vertices are above and below my center, we can see that this major axis is going to be vertical, where the minor axis is horizontal. Since the major axis is, vertic is vertical, we're going to use this formula. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, where a squared is under the y and b squared is under the x equals 1. Now remember, the center is h comma k. Well, since our center is at 0, 0, I can write x squared um, plus y squared. Right? There's h and k are 0 and 0. Now b squared we know, which is 11, so that's 121. And a squared we know, which is 12 squared, which is 144. So we don't need to know the foci to be able to write the equation. We simply have enough information already provided. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of ellipse given a vertex and a covertex in center. Thanks.